Alrighty guys, today we are here on the rocky shores of Batangas, Philippines, and we are looking for one of my single favorite fish. And the reason it's one of my favorites is because it is nothing like a fish at all. It's like finally finding a country song you like because it sounds nothing like country. So we are going to be combing the beach here looking for something spectacular because instead of looking in the water, we are going to do the very opposite and look in the last place you'd ever expect to find a fish. The rocky tidal shore is full of animals that have mastered both the land and sea. And since it isn't night yet, none of the venomous murdery ones are out, which is an added bonus. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the venomous murdery ones, but it's nice to walk around and not have to worry about every step potentially being my last for a change. Thankfully, the fish I'm hoping to find is also the most common one out here, and it didn't take long before I found the ultimate surf and turf. All right, guys, we have found our target. If you look on that rock right behind me, you may be able to pick out some shapes. These are fish that are perfectly comfortable on land. It is truly going against everything of what we perceive a fish to be. And you might not expect a fish on land to be all that mobile, maybe just sitting in one place. But if you look at these guys, they are so active. They use that long tail of theirs to almost spring them up and they can jump two feet in the air. And I've been watching them hop from rock to rock and it is unbelievable looking. Now you may be thinking that these are mud skippers, the most famous land dwelling fish, but these aren't actually related to mud skippers whatsoever. Like, so unrelated that it'd be like comparing a beaver to a bat. These are lip suckers, a fish with a completely innocent name that should not be ever taken out of context. A type of blenny that is perfectly adapted to living on these rocky shores. Their sucker-like mouths graze algae off these stones, whereas mud skippers are active predators, carnivorous gobies that hunt prey along muddy beaches. Now, lip suckers have conquered both earth and water for one major reason. No, not to become the avatar, but to escape predators. Being able to keep track of a target that can dive into the water or leap onto a rock is very difficult and allows them to escape most predators they come across. And by living in large groups, it makes it even harder for a predator to stay focused on a single target. Now, if you just take a moment to watch these fish, they are more active than like even any amphibian I've seen. They're hopping along the rocks, they're fighting with each other, they're a very territorial fish. And if you look at them long enough, they'll actually like stop, drop, and roll like a dog rolling on its back. And that is to rehydrate their skin. These fish, how they're able to survive on land is because they can actually breathe through their skin much like amphibians do. But in order to do that, they have to keep it moist so they can only live in humid climates and when they need an extra boost, they'll actually roll on the wet rocks to reapply that water to their skin. Lip suckers aren't the only blennies that live here. Although these guys have conquered the land to escape predators, their aquatic friends have developed a different method of fending off threats. Namely, a pair of fangs that inject their victim with a venom with the same chemical properties as narcotic drugs. But you guys will have to wait to see that fish in a future video. It's not every day you get to hang out with a fish and it's hopping around rocks being more agile than like any lizard I've seen. I hope I hope you guys like the footage. I hope you guys like the video. I will see you guys next time with more Philippines videos.